Brothers and sisters, together with Father Jim, be convinced, I wish you a blessed and grace-filled Merry Christmas. We celebrate Christmas this year a little differently than usual. We will miss so many of the usual Christmas traditions. It will be hard not to feel the arms of loved ones around our shoulders. This Christmas is characterized by the lack of familiar gestures of friendship and affection with friends and acquaintances. At church, we hold masses with a mask and require registration to attend. In this isolated and somewhat unusual Christmas, we celebrate the simplicity of our Savior. Our Lord was born in a manger with only his mother and father. His guests were shepherds, a few animals, and the three magis. It is a heartwarming reminder of the season's real reason during this time of isolation and social distancing. In the absence of our loved ones, the God who came to us in a manger long ago comes to where we are. His radiating presence is in our midst. If you are a medical professional serving long hours, God comes to the hospital as strength. If you are quarantined home, sick or lonely, God comes to be your healer. If you are missing people because of sickness or death, God comes to ease your grief and to be your comfort. If you are fine and all is well, but you find yourself in conflict, God comes to be peace. If you have been distancing from church, but have kept your faith alive, God comes to your home. If you have been getting a bit lukewarm in your faith, God comes to you with his reconciling love. This Christmas, we cannot be where we want to be, but God comes to where we are. The pandemic has curbed many things, but it has not stopped us from being a gift to others as Jesus is a gift to us. Be open to his abiding presence. St. John's assertion that the word became flesh and dwelt among us is the nucleus of Christmas. Actually, it is the truth of Christmas. There is no other. Christmas invites us to reflect, on the one hand, on the drama of history in which men and women, wounded by sin, ceaselessly search for truth, mercy, redemption. And on the other hand, on the goodness of God, who has come toward us to communicate the truth that saves us and make us shares in his friendship and his life. The grace that comes with the Christmas season can remove from our hearts and minus the pessimism that has spread today as a result of the pandemic. We can overcome the sense of disquieting bewilderment, not letting ourselves be overwhelmed by defeats and failures. In the dis de discovered awareness that the humble and poor child, hidden away and helpless, is God himself made man for us. While the pandemic has forced us to be more distant from one another, Jesus in the manger shows us the way of tenderness to be close to each other, to be human. Let us remember the famous lines of the poet Alexander Pope. What do I profit if Jesus is born in thousands of cribs all over the world during this Christmas, but is not born in my heart? Let us allow him to be reborn in our lives during Christmas 2020 and live in 2021 in his spirit and always guided by the love and the gift of Jesus. Christmas gives us the message of lasting peace, which can possess only by sharing our blessings with others. This is the message contained in the celestial song of the angels. Glory to God in the highest, 
and on earth peace to people of good will. Christmas reminds us that God shared his love by giving his son. We respond to his love joyfully by using our talents and blessings to everyone we encounter. Just as Jesus shared his love with the poor shepherds and the humble magi, we too are called to share our love with the less fortunate people around us. Sharing with love is the sign that one has the goodwill of which the angel spoke. The peace of Christmas is promised only to such large-hearted people, for only they can receive it. As the angels sang beautiful songs praising God, may we also unite our voices to sing and praise God for his gift of Jesus to enlighten our lives and give us hope. Merry Christmas.